Okay, so let's talk about volume fog here. I'm going to delete this volume mask that we created. Don't need that anymore. So this volume fog, um, it's an interesting tool. Uh, very powerful also. Let me create one here. Volume fog tool. If you thought that volume mask was great in terms of uh, 3D capabilities, volume fog is even a step further in that. So let's do this. Let's first um, set this up. So I have the volume fog here, and it already shows up, you know, with your fog. I'm going to just do fog only. Now, um, the 3D capability or enhancement of 3D capability here is that you can actually feed in a camera. So I'm going to use this camera and feed into this volume fog as the 3D camera and now it's going to give you that origin again for the uh, for the fog this time. I'm going to now take this original shot and merge that with the volume fog, right? So I'll take this and do a create a merge. We'll look at that merge here and volume fog is right here anyway so let's see I think I, I need to reverse the order yeah this is this is supposed to be foreground so I'll just do control W and now you can see the volume fog appearing here at the center right now let's play with it a little bit um, I'm going to increase the size first of all to show the cube of this volume fog. I'm going to unlock the size x, y and the uh, z coordinates and I'm also going to open up the rotations. Okay, so now as you move this fog into x, y and the z position you can see it happening in the uh, in the merge node here in the scene. Um, let, let's just leave it here for now and increase the scale in Y, which is the Y, as you see. I'm going to uh, go to the color and reduce the gain a little bit so that we can see what's happening. Um, and from the additive, I'll create a little less additive, more towards uh, subtractive. Okay, back to the uh, coordinates here, and let's rotate this into the X. So now you can see that it's actually coming in from the uh, from the back. Now the interesting thing is that it's respecting the geometry again. You see the edge here. This is the door, right? This is the the door here. As the volume fog is going on the other side of the door, it's actually giving you that effect that it's behind the door. Let's uh, scale this in the uh, X axis a little and further into the Y axis because I actually want it to go up and also hit the ground. So let's do 20 to the Y axis and we are going to come down in Y and more into the Z. To, uh, to bring the uh, the fog inside the house. Right, so you see that the light's coming in. You can change the color of this fog from the default white to something that's more morning fog type uh, environment, little bluish, you know, more dramatic. And you will see that happening here inside the uh, viewport. This is um, driven by the OpenCL uh, function of your um, uh, graphics card. So if you if you don't have OpenCL capabilities, this could be very slow. So that's your volume fog. Now you can see here that it's blocked again. You know by blue as the uh, as the geometry. So you can do basically the same thing again. You can bring in uh, the footage with blue. So um, so let's go through this one more time so that we can drive this point home. Um, so here is blue and I'm going to actually merge blue with uh, with this footage here. Um, 
going to create a merge node uh, and feed blue into that merge node don't care whether foreground or the background at this point you know it, it will go in the background because the first one will have to swap that this goes into the foreground so you don't see blue here as I had suspected control W and you see blue now you can have the exact same thing happening you know with uh, with the volume fog now right, so here is that's the one this is the one that we want we don't want this one so I'm going to delete that all right so here um, again this is probably uh, reverse I need to do W okay so now we can see that um, as blue is in this you know volume fog actually is through blue so you can see that the rays that are coming from the top you know they are ahead of blue but then you know there are rays that are blocked by blue and that's you know happening here also you can see that this there are no rays coming from the top so you only see blue's hand and all the fog is behind him whereas here you can still see some of the fog ahead of you know ahead of blue very powerful tool and it's all you know driven by um, the uh, wall position pass and they're very very effective now you can also have light into the volume fog here I haven't played around with light as much um, but let's just do this um, instead of bringing this in this camera into the volume fog I'm going to take this into the volume fog where I actually have a light right so let's see what kind of light do we have here let's look at the uh, perspective view and here's the light so this light is actually pointing straight at uh, at the camera so let's see if we can move and the other thing we need to do which I haven't done yet I think is go to the light tab here and do light so now you have this light that should yeah now you can see that you know the fog is actually respecting the light as it's coming in and th there is other possibility here also if you want to uh, let me just uh, fit this in, in and go back if you want to um, if you want to create uh, some noise here you can actually create a, a fast noise and plug into the volume fog animate fast noise and you will see uh, animation happening here also I have not done that yet that's my next uh, move and as soon as I'm done with that you know I'll bring a tutorial uh, on how to do that on YouTube but this is it for now for volume fog in the next video we'll walk through the rest of the composition and uh, bring it home okay thanks